Hello, YouTube land, and welcome to another edition of the Crypto Mamma Mia. Today is February 12, 2021, ladies and gents. So I'm coming at you with another Exodus lesson. So I do have videos on how to withdraw, how to deposit. I did recently make one on how to lessen the fees, but I just wanted to show you in action how it actually worked because I do have some BTC in here right now but I am, you know, I'm just going to show you what it looks like in action. But before I do, please remember, I'm not your financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Go read my disclaimers. They're everywhere. With that being said, let's get to it, shall we? So here we go. You open up your uh, Exodus wallet and Remember now, if you are trying to send or receive Bitcoin from somewhere, um, just make sure you are clicking the correct um, wallet. Because as you can see, there are many coins that you can choose from, right? You have Bitcoin Cash, you have Ethereum. So make sure that you are, first of all, in the Bitcoin wallet, right? Now, you know you're, you're in there if you see that Bitcoin is highlighted and there's a big orange B right in the middle. So make sure you, again, are in the right wallet. And also make sure you update the latest version of Exodus to get all of the wonderful options, right? Updated options, especially. So this one I have right now is the Exodus uh, 21 dot two dot 12 version so you know february 12th is the latest version i believe that they have out make sure you upload it right and and don't worry when you upload and update it will still have all your btc in there it's just giving you the most um, updated wallet right ladies and gents it's like when you go to louis vuitton and you buy the most updated trend 2021 wallet same thing here you are now getting the february 12 2021 version of exodus but hey you still have your crypto right so now when you go to your bitcoin wallet and you see this then you click on these three dots right here where it says more and you go ahead and you click advanced options and when you do you see that you can click on this enable custom fees this way you can lessen the fees that you choose to pay if you're going to send out your bitcoin especially if you don't need it to reach a certain place or you don't need it to hit the other bitcoin wallet wherever you're sending it to like right away you can you know lower the fees and it will come you know not as quickly as for example, if you pay the most expensive fees, but it'll still get there. It just might take a little longer. But if you're if you're willing to wait, you can save on the fees, right? So again, one more time, click the three dots. It's on the upper right hand corner. Click advanced options. And there you go. Enable custom fees. Now, how does that look like? So let's say I want to send some. Now you have this bar right here on the bottom. Okay, so this is the recommended fee. Let's say I wanted to send it all to somewhere. So my recommended fee so that it'll get there like super lightning quick will be 47 bucks. But let's say I don't need to send it that quick, right? Let so and of course, look very when you go with very low fees, you pay less. But hey, again, maybe you don't need it. Like you pay like six dollars. It might not get there till like I don't know tomorrow. But hey, it'll get there. It'll just take a lot longer. But as you can see, what I end up sending out will actually be way more because I save on the fees. Right? If I like did it super lightning quick probably get there in like a couple seconds maybe even then yeah i'll pay the highest fees but if i don't want to I'll probably even cut it down to half at least i would even go lower especially if i don't need it to get there like super quick i'm I willing to you know skimp on the fees but it's really up to you ladies and gents i mean i don't know what you're trying to do with your bitcoin so it's totally up to you as to what fees you want to pay 
but there you go. That's how you would do it, right? That's how you would um, set up your custom fee, right? So you would end up sending out more minus the fees. Now, I know that some people have mobile Exodus app. So let me show you really quick. I just took a screenshot of my mobile app so that you could see where it's at. So hold on, let's go to that picture real quick. Here we go. So as you can see here, now let me let me annotate it for you folks. Now, if you click to your Bitcoin wallet in your mobile app, this screen will come out, right? And you know what? You just need to click on this button here and it'll do the exact same thing that we just did in the desktop version, right? Click on this. And then what you'll see is, again, you'll, you'll see the same thing. You will see, because that's, again, the advanced options. And then you'll see this. This will pop out. And then you just turn it on like how we did here in the desktop. So again, that's the same thing with the mobile app, right? Let's go back to that real quick. Again, just go ahead and let's see here. Oops. So it's right here, right on this upper right hand corner. Same thing like the three dots um, right here. So when you're in your mobile, if you have a mobile Exodus app, you want to click on, make sure you're in the Bitcoin wallet, especially if that's what you're sending out. Click on this thing right here, this uh, advanced settings button, and you can do the exact same thing that you did on your desktop Exodus app. There you go, ladies and gents. And that way you can save some on your fees, right? Especially if, again, if you don't need to have it sent out um, like really quick, like if you can, if you can stand like it getting there a little later, then yeah, just go ahead and click the advanced options. You know where it is now in both the desktop and the mobile app, and then just click enable custom fees. And then you see what happens. And this, this same thing here will pop out on your mobile app, where again, you can send, let's say we, we're sending half. And as you can see, very expensive. So you can go to less expensive, or you can go to very cheap. <laughs> but remember, if you do go cheap, you get what you pay for. So it won't get there till who knows when. It'll take a lot longer, but it'll get there. It just will take a lot longer to confirm and to be able to hit the wallet per se, the other wallet, the other Bitcoin wallet. So there you go, ladies and gents. Hopefully that was helpful. I still get a lot of questions about that. So I just wanted to make an updated video on that so that you know how to do it in both the desktop version, laptop version of Exodus wallet, as well as the um, mobile app version, which again will look like this. And all you need to do is click on this button right here and you will be able to do that. So there you go, ladies and gents. Hopefully that was helpful. I just wanted to drop a quick video. You know, I'm out here trying to help because that's what I do. I'm a YouTube vlogger. I've learned a lot of things along the way. And if I can share that with you and help, especially I know there's a lot of new people, new people to my channel as well. So thank you everyone for um, subscribing and welcome to the Crypto Mama Mia community. And speaking of which, if you do share and I do my channel and you do help me get to 2000 subs, guess what happens? I will be giving away some of my BTC, ladies and gents, right? Just because I appreciate my community and I appreciate that you folks interact with me, whether good, bad, or otherwise, I appreciate that you take the time to do that. And so, yeah, I would like to help someone out by giving away some BTC. So all I ask is you help me out by sharing my channel, by liking, by subscribing if you have not already, right? And leave me comments. Like I said, I try to interact with people 
when I can, um, when I see your comments. But yes, thank you very much. I hope that you are having a great day or night wherever you are. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Please stay sane, most important of all. And I will see you at the next video. Adios.